Hello, welcome to this lecture. Uh, this time my focus will be on uh, the competitive exams and we have got some problems on motion in a plane and vectors. The first problem is on projectile motion. The speed of the projectile at its maximum height is half of its initial speed. Uh, what is the angle of projection? So now we have got a projectile which is projected a certain angle and this is a projectile path, it is a parabolic path. The speed of the projectile at its maximum height at this point, the speed is just half of its initial speed. If it is projected with the uh, velocity of projection u and this is theta, this u is the initial speed. At the maximum point, the speed is actually u cos theta. For the projectile motion, there is only a horizontal component at the maximum point, the vertical component of velocity is 0. So, that is why Vy is equal to 0 and the horizontal component is same throughout the motion. So, that is why at the maximum point, the velocity is actually u cos theta. So, they told u cos theta at this point, whatever the velocity, that is actually half of the initial speed that is u by 2. I lose my u here and cos theta is equal to 1 by 2. I want to know what is the angle of projection that is theta, this theta. So, theta is equal to cos inverse of 1 by 2 that is nothing but 60 degrees. So, answer is this one. Next question comes here. Again, it is on motion in a plane. X and Y coordinates of the particles at any time are given by x is equal to 5 t minus 2 t square. So, x is given as of phi t minus 2 t square and y is given as 10 t uh, respectively and x and y are measured in meters and time is in terms of seconds. The acceleration of the particle at t is equal to 2 seconds. So, they ask what is the acceleration at time 2 seconds. So, now x and y given I can get acceleration. Remember this is a plane, this is a case of two dimension motion. You have got both x coordinate and y coordinate. We can have v x as well as v y we can have Ax as well as Ay. Now, after getting this, we have to put in this form Ax i cap plus Ay j cap and we can get to know what is the magnitude of acceleration. Uh, now, Vx is equal to dx by dt, differentiating this with respect to time, differentiation of phi t is equal to uh, 5 uh, minus differentiation of 2 t square is uh, 2 into 4 t that is t. What about Vy? Vy is equal to dy by dt that is a differentiating this with respect to time. We have got 10 into t here and that is differentiation of 10 t is actually 10. So, that is Vy. How to get Ax? Ax is equal to dvx by dt that is a differentiating velocity actually uh, for the x component I am doing. So, this is velo differentiating this is actually minus 4. What about Ay? Ay is actually differentiating Vy with respect to time. So, Ay will be equal to 0 because 10 is a constant. Now, I will put in this form A vector is equal to Ax i cap that is minus 4 i cap plus 0 j cap and this has got minus 4. This is a 0 actually. So, it is minus 4 meter per second square. I am writing in terms of meter per second square because x and y are measured in terms of meter and time is in terms of second. So, answer is this one. We got one more problem here. This is on again plane. A particle has initial velocity 2 i cap plus 3 j cap. So, initial velocity u vector is 3 2 i cap plus 3 j cap and it has got acceleration. Again, it is in terms of Ax and Ay. So, 0 0.3 i cap plus 0 0.2 j cap. They ask what is the magnitude of the velocity uh, of velocity uh, at, so they ask what is the magnitude of velocity at time t is equal to 10 seconds. Now, question is whether I am allowed to use the kinematic equation and the answer is yes. Why? Because acceleration is a constant. You do not have any term called t in the acceleration this is just a constant. If you take the magnitude, that means square root of 0.3 square plus 0.2 square, it is again a number which is actually independent of time. So, here acceleration is a constant. That means you can make use of kinematic equation. So, I will use v is equal to u plus at to get the final speed at some time t. 
10 seconds. So that implies u is 2i cap plus 3j cap plus acceleration is 0.3i cap plus 0.2j cap into time is 10. So this is a velocity at 10 seconds. So it is 2i cap plus 3j cap plus this 0.3 into 10 is actually 3i cap plus 0.2 into 10 is 2j cap. If you club together 2 plus 3 is 5i cap. 3 plus 2 is again 5j cap. So, this is actually velocity uh, in the vector form. Now, I have to get the magnitude of the velocity. So, to get the magnitude of velocity, I have to take the square root of uh, square the component and uh, add them up. So, it is actually uh, 25 plus 25 is a 50. It is actually 25 into 2. So, root 25 is 5. 5 root 2 is the answer. We got one more problem on uh, projectile motion. A missile is fired for maximum range with an initial velocity 20 meter per second. So, initial speed is given as 20 meter per second. So, there is a missile which is a fired from the certain point and it takes a parabolic path and it is fired in such a way that the range is maximum. This range is maximum and g value is taken as 10 meter per second square. They ask what is the actual range. Now, upon the condition range is maximum, let me write the equation for range. Range is equal to u square sin 2 theta by g. Now, this condition is maximum range means r is maximum. r is maximum means sin 2 theta is maximum only when 2 theta is equal to 90 degree. So, that is range is maximum when sin 2 theta is equal to 1. That means 2 theta is equal to 90 degree. So, this is maximum that means sin 2 theta is equal to 1. So, r is equal to u square by g. So, this is the actual value of range for this special case that is a maximum range. Uh, that is, so th they are wanted actually what is the actual range? What is u? u is 20 uh, square by g is 10. So, it is 400 by 10, it is 40. Range is actually in measured in terms of meter distance. So, answer is this one. We have got a last question in this part. The horizontal range and the maximum height of a projectile are equal. What is the angle of projection? And this project problem is on the projectile motion. Again, you got a body which is projected from certain certain angle theta and this is the initial speed u. And this is actually vertical maximum height and this is the horizontal range. The given that the horizontal range and maximum height of a projectile are equal. So, horizontal range is same here. I will write sin 2 theta as 2 sin theta cos theta. So, 2 u square sin theta cos theta by g. This is actually an expression for horizontal range. And one more we have got the height. So, that is height, vertical height that is u square sin square theta by 2 g. If these two are equal, that is a given condition, what is theta? That is what they asked. So, if when you equate these two, uh, 2 u square sin theta cos theta by g is equal to u square sin square theta by 2 g. So, g g you lose and 2 will come here, 4 u square also cancel, sin theta sin theta cancel, you are left with 1 sin theta and this cos theta you get it down and sin theta by cos theta is tan theta. So, we have to find out how much is the angle of projection theta. So, theta is equal to tan inverse of 4 and there is no standard value. So, that is directly we can take this answer. So, thank you for watching. Please share this video.